man, listen. This shit crazy. This shit, hey, I just watched this. I just watched this little thing on Fight Hype about Terrence Crawford calling himself trying to tell his part of the story. That's some bullshit. He lying like a motherfucker. All the people that you just mentioned, I hope they do go and go and ask them, cause they gonna tell you what happened. I was, you heard what he said. I was the prima donna. What that mean was, I was that guy. I was that guy. And they said a prima donna is somebody that's supposed to be real good, but don't amount to nothing or something. I was that good. I was that guy. Terrence Crawford, he never, he was a, he was number, he was my, what was, what was Terrence? I'm going to say two, three, number two or three. He was never in the upper enchilons when we was in the, when we was in the, uh, uh, in the amateurs. He was never that, that real number one guy. Nobody ever ran the sport of uh, the amateurs other than me and Rashi Warren. Ask all the people that he just named. Me and Rashi Warren. And yeah, I work with Mark Davis. Mark Davis ain't motherfucking get out on me. I was that guy. Mark cool. Mark Davis cool. I hope y'all, I hope, I hope they do go and ask Mark Davis. Mark, I'm going to give you an opportunity to be a real nigga, bro. I'm going to give you an opportunity to do some real shit. You know what I'm saying? The most Mark can say was that it was good work at its best. Nobody would never say that anybody got out on me in the amateurs. Couldn't nobody fuck with me. When we when we competed in the amateurs, it would be three rings. It would be three rings fighting at one time. It'd be three rings, three rings fighting at one time. If me or Rashi won four, I don't care who was in the arena. The whole entire arena will leave the other two rings and come and watch us fight because we was the ones that was always the guy. We was always that dog, man. Me and Rashi won was the only ones that ran everything. I was always the number one. I was always the number one in every tournament, every year. Ask Terrence Crawford was he able to do that. He ain't make the Olympic team because he couldn't make it with the best of the best. He had to turn pro before everybody else to try to get a head start or something because he couldn't make it. He ain't make the Olympic team because he wasn't good enough. He was the number two, number three. Them that them guys were flip flop. They were flip flop. Maybe they have a good week. Maybe they have a good day. I always had a good week. I always had a good day. It's a difference. Ain't nobody capping. Get the fuck out of here, Terrence. Try that shit with somebody else. Every time I hear you say my name or say something slick, I'm on your ass. Stop playing. Stop playing. Yeah, we did have words. Tell them what really happened. You turned to a sucker, man. That's crazy, man. Tell everybody what really happened. I'm, I'm glad you saving face. You know what I'm saying? And and everybody everybody think you'll beat me. Everybody think you'll beat me. So let's get the fans what they want to see. Since you can beat me and you this and that and all that, make the fight. Let's make something happen. I will meet you at 147. I will fuck you up. Come on, man. This shit is crazy. Play them games with somebody else, turns. You know what it is, man. You know what it is. Tell, tell somebody, tell whoever on your team will do whatever you got to do to come holler at me. You got people in your camp that got my contact information personally. Personally. We don't got to do no social media. We don't got to do none of this. Tell them to make the fight happen. Tell them to call me. Let's figure out a way. You know what I'm saying? We know it's a whole lot of politics. It's a whole lot of politics that's watering the sport down. You know what I'm saying? Let's, they say, to keep it 100, they say me, you, and Earl Spence, the realest boxers in the sport of the game. Let's really do some real shit and cross the bridge and take and take away the politics and the bullshit and get the fans what they want to see. You Since you feel some type of way, fight me. Since you feel some type of way about what really happened, fight me. You was a sucker. Stop playing, man. I ain't And guess what? I ain't even going to put it out there. But I do remember walking up the bleachers on you. Come on, man. Stop playing. I hope y'all do ask the people. Go and go and go and talk to the people that he mentioned. Definitely Mark Davis. Mark Davis more importantly. Mark Davis more importantly because nobody nobody couldn't fuck with me. If anything, we had good work at its best. Ain't nobody get the fuck out on me. Ain't nobody get out on me. I was always that guy. Come on, man. Play these games with somebody else. You try to go ahead and manipulate the people. You can't manipulate me, Slim. Stop this shit. Fuck out of here.